to what they do to physical education programs and classes today. They've actually moved this particular physical education programs and classes today. They've actually moved this particular class to the lobby of the gymnasium. All right, guys. Today we're going to be working on some jump rope skills. And the first one we're going to go over just the skier jumps. And all it is, you're just going to jump over the rope. Any questions? No, coach. All right, here we go. Here we go, class. All right, ready? Go. Good job, please. Good job. As you can see, Eric has mastered this skill. Brandy's having just a little trouble because she's never had a physical education class. Come on, Brandy. Jump, two feet. Both feet don't go together. All right, let's go to something different. Maybe she can do better. All right, the next skill we're gonna work on is just the basic traditional jump rope. And I'm gonna get Eric to demonstrate that for us. Go ahead, Eric. And that's what we're going to be working on today, class. All right, Eric, if you will back up just a little bit, give Brandy some room. All right, y'all get ready to go together. On my sound. Ready, go. Good job, Eric. Come on, Brandy. Jump the rope. Both feet. Nice work, Eric. Come on, Brandy, you can do it. Let's try scooter skills. Maybe Brandy can master that. Can I go downstairs and get something to eat? No, Brandy, come on. As you can see, Brandy had just a little trouble with the last activity. She's actually falling asleep after the first one. All right, class, the next thing we're gonna work on is gonna be the scooter skill. Brandy, wake up. Get up. I know you're tired. Let's go, though. All right, we're going to be working on the alligator crawl. So on both of you, put your stomachs on the scooter. Y'all go ahead and get, get in position. Go ahead and get down, man. Lay down. And you're going to use your arms, and you're going to crawl like you're an alligator on my sound. Ready? Go. Good job, Eric. Come on, Brandy. Pull yourself. Come on, Brandy. I know you're tired, and this is why you're tired. See, class, this is what Brandy had before she came to pee today. A box of donuts and a Dr. Pepper. But that's all my mom packed me. It's hopeless. Let's, it's, it's over. I don't need like that. His lack of ability, Joe decided to move to an easier activity for the kids. All right, guys, we're going to work on keeping the different size balls. And I just want you concentrating on getting the ball to the wall. You're going to take a step. Kick it to the wall. We're going to do it with the small ball first, then we're going to move up to the big ball. Y'all ready? Yes, no questions? No questions. All right, Brandy, take your position. Eric, take your position. Kick the small one first. Ready? Go! Come on, Brandy, kick the ball to the wall. We're not worried about accuracy, just hit the wall. Good job, Eric. Brandy still appears to be having trouble. I think she needs a physical education program. Let's move to the bigger balls now. Thank you. Good job, Eric. Come on, Brandy, kick it. Get it to the wall in the air. Good job, Eric. As you can see, Eric is having no trouble with this activity. All right, class, today I brought in Dr. Mucci, and he's going to go over some of the reasons that we're in physical education and why we exercise. Do any of you kids know why you take PE every day? What's your reason? Free play. You get to play it. You like free play? No. Eric, why do you take PE? I don't know. Can you tell me? The number one reason that we want to take physical education is to live a healthy lifestyle physically fit and you want to live a healthy lifestyle. I'm going to go over a few facts for you guys today. 
that might persuade you to take PP a little more serious. 80% of type 2 diabetes are related to obesity. 70% of which of CBD is related to obesity as well. So cardiovascular disease to your heart, exercise actually helps your heart. In 1982, 4% of children were overweight. Now it's increased from 1982 to 16% in 1994. Um, 35 million in 1979 were overweight. Now 127 million of children are overweight. Children with type 2 diabetes, 85% of which are obese. And physical education is one aspect that can actually help you improve your health. And this should be enough for you to take B. I'm going to take B more seriously. Me too.